Three nice days in a row. We can't really seem to do much better than that, and we haven't done much better than that for quite some time, and we're still pretty nice outside. Partly cloudy skies, 66 degrees, and those winds out of the southeast at 9, and that southerly flow is going to keep those warm temperatures with us through the night, so temps, they're sticking in the 60s here in Pittsburgh, although you're going to notice that dew point starting to climb up tomorrow, so humidity levels will certainly be felt. And we'll have a little touch of monkeyness to the air in addition to some showers and thunderstorms that are on the way. We're staying pretty quiet through the night. Partly cloudy skies. Temperatures bottom out at 60 degrees and we really warm up quickly tomorrow by 11. We're already looking at temperatures in the mid 70s and many spots are going to see highs in the 80s before those showers arrive. And if you're suffering from allergies, well, these showers are going to help you out a little bit, dropping us to the moderate level. We've been in the high range and it's been the birch, the maple and the oak that have been doing the trick. For most people, high levels return on Saturday as we dry it out again. But showers and storms back lined up in Illinois. That's going to continue to march towards us through the night and into the day tomorrow. Now, we're not anticipating anything in the way of severe weather at this point. The best chances for that would be southwest Ohio and southwest from there. But uh, we are going to get some rumbles of thunder coming in here. We have a warm front that's going to lift across the area. That's going to set off those temperatures to really take off, as most of us are going to see highs in the 80s. But it also allows that more humid air and with the heat and humidity and a cold front coming in, you have the recipe for some thunderstorms to develop. So these thunderstorms are going to be scattered around. And the most widespread storms actually come into play in the evening hours, but they're going to start popping up right after lunchtime. And you could see some periods of this rain could be heavy as as they work through. Now, Friday, still some showers, still some storms until this cold front actually passes across the area, taking the clouds with it. And I think we clear it out nicely Friday evening and Friday night. And that's going to set us up for a little sunshine into the start of the Mother's Day weekend. Too bad we can't carry it all the way through the Mother's Day weekend. 82 in Pittsburgh tomorrow. Most spots in the lower 80s around Allegheny County. Clouds are going to be increasing just after lunchtime. We start seeing those hit or miss showers and thunderstorms developing more widespread into the evening. South of the city, temperatures here are likely going to make it into the mid 80s. A very warm day and some people are going to be complaining about the humidity. I'll tell you that much. Afternoon showers and thunderstorms down this way. Again, we're not anticipating severe weather at this point. Temperatures low 80s off to the east. Showers and thunderstorms for the afternoon and evening hours and up north of Pittsburgh. If you have things to do outside, the earlier, the better. Clouds increasing, showers and thunderstorms taking over. They'll wrap up Friday night and then into the weekend. We get some nice conditions, but cool conditions to start it off. 65 degrees for Saturday. Increasing clouds, though, on Mother's Day with even some showers being possible. Can't even rule out some rumbles of thunder in the afternoon. Monday, an early shower, and then we dry it up for Tuesday for another round of showers on Wednesday. And with all the shower chances returning to the forecast, why not track them with the KDK Weather app? You can do it on an interactive radar or with an hour-by-hour -hour forecast. It's free. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.